hello fellow binary people welcome to my channel uh, so this is my first video and I decided to go with something cool but you know it's tough to decide <laughs> so I decided to go with this topic how to use your USB device as a security key in Linux now uh, first thing I want to say is that this is not as secure as your password so maybe don't use this for protecting your sensitive files the idea is simple you will have a trusty USB drive and when you plug it in your computer will unlock and when you plug it out your computer will lock now how do you do that in Linux so we use UDEV which is Linux's device manager UDEV has many features but the one of interest is that it lets you listen for when a new device has been added or has been removed and this is what we will exploit in this video now uh, we will listen for two events one is add and it is remove for the subsystem USB and how do you know that it's the specific USB key that you set up we'll use your USB keys vendor ID and device ID so how do you get the USB keys vendor ID and device ID let's open our terminal and make sure your USB device is plugged in so let me just plug it in and run lsusb lsusb now we have to find out which one is your usb device in my case i know that it's this one the one in alcor micro corporation flash drive yours might be different so you have to take this number this eight digit identifier not exactly a number it's alphanumeric characters alphanumeric identifier so the first part before the colon is the vendor id and the second part before the after the colon is the device id so we need to keep this so i'm opening another terminal now i have to create two files one is the udev rule which will tell udev which script to run after my device has been plugged in or plugged out and another one is the script itself so first the udev rule so this will go into slash etc slash udev slash rules dot d slash 80 hyphen usb dot rules the name 80 is important because you know uh, there are many rules the 80 makes the first number will tell udev in which order to run uh, let's actually see which files are there so i'm going to run slash etc slash udev slash rules dot d so as you can see there is only one rule with 40 so if I create a file named 80 file name that starts with 80 it will make sure it runs after the 41 has been run so I'm going to copy paste this I'll give a link in the description so that you can also copy paste and you'll see there are two placeholders for device id and two placeholders for vendor id we have to replace them with our vendor id and device id so i'm going to replace this this vendor id placeholder with my vendor id which is 058f and i'm going to do the same thing for device id which is 6387 in my case 6387 and it's done so what does this actually do it tells that when a USB device with this vendor ID and this device ID has been added you run this script and similarly when an USB with this vendor ID and this device ID has been removed you run this script now this script is run as root so in order to find out our username we have to do some kind of tricks we'll see that later but uh, this runs this script right here slash user slash local slash bean slash usb log dot sh with the argument unlock when the usb device has been added and with the argument lock when the usb device has been removed so now we save this file and create the script so this will be slash user slash local slash bin slash usb hyphen lock dot sh 
and here I'm going to paste this bad boy uh, here you have to change the username with your username which is Aniket in my case now what does this do uh, in order to use systemd systemd is login ctl uh, we have to find out the session number so in order to do that we can use login ctl if you run login ctl you see that it outputs your currently logged in user along with the session now we want this session number in order to do that we are just running lo login ctl and then searching for the name oniket and then printing the first column with awk or awk and we are storing this in session variable and then if the first argument is lock we are going to pass this to lock session in login ctls and if the first argument is unlock we are going to pass this to unlock session so that it unlocks now i'm going to save this and i'm going to make sure it is executable oops and it's done one thing now i have to load the udev rules so sudo udev adm space control hyphen hyphen reload this reloads it now my usb device is still plugged in if i take this out it will lock as you can see and if i plug this in it will unlock so now you have this uh, now you can also go implement this but uh, one thing that i said before that it's not as secure as your password like anyone can steal your usb device and unlock so or maybe don't use it to protect your sensitive files all right uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe also comment thank you